Hi everyone, in this video I will show you the work of my new scripts for Modo, which will be available on my Gumroad. In order to open the panel with a set of scripts, you must click the Kits button in the upper right corner. Next, you need to click on the panel icon. By dragging the panel, we can fix it on the screen. Let's open the parameters panel of the first script. This script allows you to connect selected polygons or edges to each other with the ability to recalculate the result based on the existing bridge tool. Let's select the polygons that we want to connect to each other. Now we need to switch to polygon connection mode. Now we can click the apply button to execute the script. In order to find out which edges were connected, you need to press the select edge button. Now we can select one of them and move the selected edges to another location or rotate and change the scale. After this, we must click the apply button again to update the result. This way you can edit and recalculate and get a new result without having to roll back. This works until you clear the data by clicking the clean button. You can also change the number of segments in connection mode. Let's perform a reset and clear the data. Now we can select other edges or polygons and make a new connection. Let's switch to edge mode and click apply. You can enable select loop, so the script will select the loop of edges and connect them. After connecting, you can select the polygons or edges that were connected and move them. After each edit, you need to update the result by clicking the apply button. You can continue editing until you get the result you want. As long as you haven't erased the data, you can roll back by pressing the reset button. The following script is called Edge Shift. It shifts one chain of selected edges to another or both chains in a position between them. First, we need to select two chains of edges. Next, we need to deselect one edge from each chain. This will define the start and end of the edge connection. Now we can apply the script. Using the shift parameter, you can set the distance between edge chains. You can see that currently the edges of one chain do not coincide with the other. This is because we just performed a shift without taking into account the positions of the vertices of the other chain. In order for this to be possible, we need to make sure that the number of edges of the two chains is the same. Then we can use the same parameter to shift the vertices of the edges of one chain to the other. Thus, we get uniformly distributed vertices of one chain parallel to the vertices of another chain. Using this parameter, we can move the second chain of edges towards the first and vice versa. The next parameter is evenly. It tries to make the edges of the shifted chain more of the same length by placing them on another chain. The both parameter shifts the edges of two chains towards each other. Using the ratio parameter, you can influence which chain will be shifted more than the other. 50% means that the edges will be shifted towards the middle. Now I will show you a problem that you may have and its solution. As you can see, the circuits are connected to each other in the wrong direction. In order to fix this, you need to activate the fix parameter. Now everything is all right. Using this script, you can speed up your workflow when you need to move edges towards each other while maintaining the same distance between them. As you can see in this case, the evenly parameter is not the best option since we do not need to make the edges the same length. Let's cancel the result, clear the data, and move on to the next script. This script will help you make holes of the radius you need. Before running the script, you need to select one edge of each hole. Now you can run the script and the holes will become a radius of 200 millimeters. Now we can change the radius and apply the script again. Let me return the previous radii and clear the data so we can select other holes in loop mode. The loop parameter is very useful when automatic hole detection is not possible. You can select all hole edges manually and activate the loop parameter. We also have the option to copy the radius and apply it to other holes. First, we need to select the edges of the hole to define the radius. The edges can be selected in loop mode or not. It doesn't matter. Now we need to click the Get Radius button. Now we need to select the holes to which we want to apply the resulting radius. So our two holes now have the same radius as the first. This script can be useful for changing the radius of holes faster and more accurately than if you did it manually. The following script triangulates a selected polygon. Currently, it only works with one mesh at a time. Before using the script, you must select the polygon you want to triangulate. It is better to leave the nearest points parameter equal to one. This means that between the available nearest vertices, it will use the closest one to obtain a triangle. The next parameter is responsible for the density of vertices. The smaller the distance, the more vertices, and thus the more triangles. The next parameter is responsible for the distance between vertices on the boundaries. It is something like a multiplier of the main distance. If the value is less, then there will be more vertices. The next parameter does the same thing only for inner vertices. The next parameter determines at what distance from the boundaries internal vertices will be generated. The smaller the parameter, the closer the internal vertices will be to the boundaries. The next parameter is the density of vertices, taking into account the number of vertices that is set in the count parameter. The seed parameter is responsible for generating random vertices. 
Let's return the previous polygon by pressing the reset button and then clear the data of the previous polygon to perform triangulation of next polygon. To complete a triangulation, you can simply clear the data and move on to the next triangulation. The last script, but not the last one that I plan to add to this panel, is a script that aligns meshes between the first or last selected meshes, or between them. First, we need to select at least one polygon for each meshes. The script takes into account the sequence of selected meshes. This determines the order in which the meshes are placed. The offset parameter determines the distance between meshes. The next parameter determines which mesh to align the remaining meshes from, the first or the last. The center parameter means that the meshes will be aligned in the center between the first and last selected meshes. The next parameter means that the objects will be placed between the first and last meshes. This parameter does not take into account the offset, but only the centers of the meshes. You can also set the axis in the direction in which the alignment will be performed. In order for two meshes to be defined as one whole mesh, we must define them manually. We can do this using the define mesh subpanel. Now some meshes are defined as one mesh. In order for us to change the alignment order of the meshes, we must clear the define mesh data and select the meshes again in the order we need. After we have aligned the meshes with each other, we can continue to align the meshes along a separate axis. But after applying this alignment, we will no longer be able to reset to the original state through the reset button only using the undo command. Using the min-max parameter, you can align to the positive or negative axis. This was the last script for today. I hope you were interested and perhaps you found something useful for yourself. This panel is available on my Gumroad. I really hope for your support so that I can continue to create new scripts for you. Thanks for watching.